Well, we do like to see a bit of concrete. And in this review, we're looking at a concrete mixer. It's a Zoom Lion truck and the box has got the carry handle. And as it says on the box, it's a mixer and it's in the unusual scale of 1 to 38. The model is made by Sunray's Classic Models and much of the writing on the box is in Chinese. But there are the usual warning notices and these are in several languages. Onto the weigh bridge goes the box and it's about two pounds five ounces, which is just a little bit over one kilogram. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Compared to other zoom line models we've looked at, this one has proper expanded polystyrene trays. And it's good to see that the clipping system is used, so there's no need for a sharp knife to cut any tape. Lifting the lid and we see lots of soft paper. But if we go ahead and unwrap that, we get to see the model inside. In comes the giant hand crane to lift it out. And there's just one more piece of packaging to remove. There's one part contained in the box. And there's also a bag containing a plastic pointer. Well, assembly doesn't come easier than this. There's only a chute extension to add, and it's got a nice inbuilt magnet, so it stays in place when you put it on the truck. Let's now check on the weight of the model, and it's a one pounds thirteen ounces, or eight hundred and thirty grams. Let's start by looking at the scale compared to a 1 to 50 scale mixer, and the zoom line is about 25% bigger. Looking underneath, and the detail is very good, you can see the underside of the engine and also the gearbox. The exhaust system is modelled, and there's a functional steering system. There's a large tank in the middle and various smaller tanks, and also a spare wheel. Moving to the rear axles, and they're modelled in some detail. And at the back, there's a metal bumper bar. The tyres on all the axles have a tread pattern, but they seem to be the same. The roof has got some texturing in the casting. And looking at the front, the truck is badged as a Shackman M3000S. Shackman is a Chinese brand. The model has a nice front grille with a logo. And the main lights are also realistically modelled. Looking at the side, and there are high quality graphics on the cab, and it also shows a weight of 31 tonnes. There are textured steps which lead up to the cab. The wheels have got some nice detailing, and the mud flaps are rigid. The water tank used for washing out has got a flexible hose running down from it, and there are also hydraulic hoses running to the mixer drum motor. There are small graphics which add to a realistic look and a water pipe runs towards the back of the truck. The mixer drum is a quality part, all in metal. It has sharp graphics applied, and the access hatch is also modelled. There's a metal wheel arch at the back with graphics applied, and the rear wheels look good with their big hubs. There are plastic access steps at the rear. There's a ladder which rises up to the washing out platform at the hopper, and the handrails are in plastic. Detail inside the hopper is also good, there is some ridged textures, and it's nice that there's a proper hole going into the drum. At the back the lights have plastic lenses, and there's decoration on the bumper bar, with more chevrons above. The discharge chute is a metal part, and on the opposite side the detailing around the fuel tank is very good. Back we go underneath and there is a linked steering of the front two axles, with the range of movement being moderate. A nice touch is that when you rotate the rear axles, the drive shafts also rotate. Another feature of the rear axles is that they are a fully sprung unit. There's no suspension on the front axles. So here we are out on the road and the mixer rolls well enough. Although you can see that the wheels on axle 2 are not quite grounded. 
Let's set the steering and see what happens. And you can get a moderate angle of turn. If you apply a little downward pressure, all wheels rotate. And applying pressure also tests the suspension. Now there is a linkage bar connected to the steering and that provides a link through to the steering wheel. But in reality, it doesn't turn very much. The big cab has a full tilting mechanism, which also takes account of that steering linkage. Under the cab, the detail is very pleasing. There's a decent engine with different colored components. The angle of tilt of the cab is also really good. Using the supplied plastic pointer makes it easy to open the cab doors. And that gives a chance to look at some of the detail inside. Let's move on and take the mixer drum for a spin. And it whizzes round smoothly. In fact, it's a good game to see if you can get the zoom line name to line up. One more go. Come on, just one more go. Yes, win that prize. The chute rotates from its transport position. And a very nice feature is the opening flap. When it's closed in transport mode, that flap stops bits of concrete going where you don't want it to go. Let's fetch the chute extension and you just hook it over the end of the chute. So that is the model and of course it goes great with other Zoom Lion concrete machinery. And these models have also been made in 1 to 38 scale. This model by Sunray's Classic Models looks great in the Zoom Lion colour scheme. Good use has been made of the larger scale to give it some nice functionality. And the level of detailing is also at a high level. This model also looks particularly good if you can show it with other Zoom Lion concrete models. And overall this truck mixer model is excellent. Mm -hmm.